Hi there, it's Ryan Yee of Nerd Boy TV, and welcome back to our podcast that we've been doing on iTunes and YouTube since 2007, so we're very, very proud of that and glad that you were able to make it back. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing an interview with the makers of a Facebook app called Social Memories, and basically what this app does is it takes your uh, Facebook wall postings and analyzes the data and makes it into a terrific book like this. Um, I got mine in the mail probably a couple weeks ago, and I had the pleasure of talking to the developers of the product. So uh, let's take a look. All right. So I have Camilla, Alex, and Stephen here from Social Memories. And Social Memories is a book that you can create using your Facebook postings. So I'm going to let them talk about the product. But uh, first of all, welcome to Nerd Boy TV. Cool. Hi. Thank you for having us. And they're all the way in Germany. I'm all the way here in California, so they have sun. And as you can see in my room, it's very dark here still. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, where did you all get the idea of creating social memory, a social memory book from Facebook postings? Right. Uh, we all? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the idea. I think we had the idea on the Flash on the Beach on the conference uh, last year in Brighton. And um, I always I like the Feltron report from, from Feltron and I uh, thought, isn't there an easier way to get all the information out of the social networks? And yeah, so we thought about, had we discussed the idea in the agency, so yeah, we can do that, there's the API for it, it worked great. You can all the information out of Facebook and all the information from your friends as well, if you put the allow button. Yeah, and... Um, then the next step was to find a client for that because seven months development just for a small agency. So we worked up the the concept a little bit more out and tried to find a client who fits to such a pro project. I mean, you cannot do it with everybody because you need to trust the party. You don't want to push your data to I don't know everyone in the world. So uh, the Deutsche Post uh, DHL was a perfect fit. We did some project with them in the past, so yeah, uh, worked well out. So uh, we had the right person on, on their side uh, in the innovation uh, department, and um, they liked the idea. Of course, you have to yeah deal with some numbers and business plans, return of the investment. But then we had to go and start with the thing. Great. Mm -hmm. Now, why do you, why do you think people would want to save? what they put on Facebook into a hardbound book like this? Um, I'll, I'll take that one. Um, yeah, so I suppose like partly going back to where the first thought came from is, you know, everyone puts heaps of stuff in, into Facebook and it's in some ways like in its crudest form, it's like a data entry of your style. Um, and but you, you can't get this you can't see all of it, right? So you can see a piece here, you see a photo here, you can kind of see how your friendships work. But we come to that if we could give people an aggregate view of the things that we pushed in, you know, we might learn s something from that. You know, you might find something new and strange, you know, like when we first produced our books, it was really cool to see, okay, I'm surprised, you know, Alex said, Large quantities of guy friends compared to girlfriends, that, that was kind of interesting. So we, <laughs> we asked them about that a little bit, but you, you know, don't want to talk about that, right? Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> no, no, no. But it's, um, it's, I suppose, you're, it seems that you're curious about yourself, right, and how other people see you. So, yeah, it's kind of, in some ways, Facebook is like our modern diary, you know, like we record feelings, we put our thoughts in, our photos, and things we've shared with friends and family, and that's something that's always gone into printed form, right? Like whether it's our family photo albums or school yearbooks, so. Right. Now, I, I have to confess, when I got my book and I ordered my book from you, uh, what do you think the most used word on my Facebook wall is? Just take a wild <laughs> guess. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> so, so obviously I laugh a lot on my posts. 
so that was a funny thing. And then also I noticed, uh, you know, I, I think it was the statistic of uh, whose picture do you post the most? My daughter. So, <laughs> so I really like the book. It's terrific. Um, does the information change a lot if you pick like a different time period? I noticed that you're able to pick uh, a certain time period for your book. Um, well, I think in general, um, we can kind of see if you could go right back to when your profile data started, you can kind of see when people first joined, they typically just joined and they might post one or two things, they, they might do a picture, but they won't really touch it. And then as the Facebook kind of grew to this critical size, um, the, the things people were posting sped up, the, the quantities of pictures being posted sped up. And then, yeah, so you, we, we, we kind of saw a curve that would almost go like this, so there'd be a peak, there'd be this huge hype trend, and then they'd kind of drop a bit, and then you get to a stable point. You, you upload the pictures when you have a party, and you comment if you feel particularly strongly about something, but it kind of reached this, um, this background noise volume, I suppose. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think in general, though, um, books created for the past year are drawing on more content than books created from, say, 2009, 2010. And unfortunately, we couldn't go further back than that because the, um, the Facebook social graph only allows us to go as far back as June 2009. So um, hopefully we'll see more trends in the future from there. Okay. Now, tell me a little bit about how you see social memories in comparison to something like uh, Year Bound or Ego Book, if you're familiar with them. Mm -hmm. we, we, we've seen them. Um, well, we think our product um, is nicer, in a way. It's, it's, um, the design is nicer. Yeah, it's, very, it's, it's beautiful graphics. Mm. It really is. <laughs> yeah. and, um, and what we um, do is we really uh, visualize the, the data um, from especially from uh, from ego book um, you, you get the impression it's more like a printout of your of your wall but you can't really you don't have an overview of um, specific things like um, yeah um, do you have more male or female friends or for example what it, uh, events you attended um, things like that don't appear there and if if you if you can um, flip through the pages you might well if you do that you, you might see it but um, it's not that you have a you just look at it and you see it and then you're like oh wow so what social memories does it can surprise you like it did with you um, with your most used uh, word for example <laughs> yeah, yeah and um, that. I think that doesn't happen with ego book. It's just uh, a printout, which is yeah. nice as well, but um, we're just a bit different. Yeah, I think yeah. when we started to kind of research this space, we're kind of calling it like the Facebook to print space, like there's a few um, people out there, so there's year bound ego book and social print shop and things like that, but none of them added anything more than what you could see in Facebook. So we kind of wanted to take that a step further and try and learn something more from what you put in there. It right. It's, it's, it seems like some of the other products out there, like you were saying, it just takes the wall, takes the pictures, and, and prints it up into a nice found book. But what your book did, for me anyway, was uh, present new information, uh, looked, at, looked at my wall posts and other information, and, and turned it around into something that I wouldn't have expected. So it was very, very interesting. Yeah, that was, that was actually one of the major goals. You're dealing, if you use Facebook every day, what a lot of people do, um, you generate a lot of data and uh, you end up, you don't have the bird view anymore, so you see only what's happened the last one or two weeks. And what we want to do is to to find a way to, to, to see what happens in the old period or the, the last month uh, from another point of view, not from the just post view. So put it in these infographics so that you, that you have an easy entry in the, in the, in the data. Okay. Well, not uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you have any other plans to add other kinds of stats to the book in the future? Yeah, we're going to talk in detail about the plan we have in the product, but we have some ideas. I think fan pages would be great to integrate. 
if you, I don't know, have the book of Lady Gaga, uh, could be very interesting or from, from your favorite football or soccer club, uh, club. But yeah, there are some uh, uh, next steps on the roadmap that we cannot discuss in the moment, but uh, I think we push a little bit harder and give you more freedom to design your own book, give you more personal note in it. There are some uh, directions we will be planning at the moment, and uh, of course to have an unlimited page number that you can choose, ah, yeah, I want to have a book with 40 pages or maybe 120 if I'm a uh, very tough poster. <laughs> yeah, and like, I think in terms of the data sets that are coming, I think um, it would be particularly interesting to see as Facebook places its mainstream use, it's kind of hard to explain now. Um, but we think it'd be great to show stuff like favorite places that you've been to. If you're always going to clubs and stuff, it's like wicked. We can kind of see where you go within the town. Um, and we've been uh, we've been gathering feedback from our users as well. And there's a lot of cool stuff coming out there that we'd love to do. Like there's definitely there's no shortage of uh, great ideas out there. So it's just working out where we push them. So. Um, yeah, there's some funny things in the forum, like someone suggested a page about your love life. <laughs> so I don't know how much detail we can pull from Facebook about that, but that could be cool. So um, we're going to so we're gonna have some scandalous books for social memory someday yeah, soon. You might have to add some more tracking so you can, yeah, log things that you do. But this, so what, yeah. what, why don't you tell us, how do, how do we get to social memories? How do, how do you use social memories if you're on Facebook? Right, sure. Um, so very easy. Just go to facebook.com forward slash social memories. Spell exactly how it sounds without any spaces. Um, and that'll send you to the welcome page so you can kind of learn a bit more about the app. We'll watch the tour, which explains all of, all of the steps that you need to take, which is like three. So it's really simple. Um, and yeah, everything kind of takes place from there. So you can, choo you can choose a time frame, you can preview your book, you can change colors, um, you can choose German or English, but we're hoping to roll out some more languages soon. So, And you can change pictures, because I know one of them was uh, what pictures I put most on the wall. I, I didn't like the ones that came up, so I changed them. <laughs> yeah. And we, we, we've implemented another feature, um, I think a week ago now, um, that yeah. because we, we were asked a lot that um, people thought the idea was really cool, but they would um, really like to get it for friends and family as a present and um, that's not possible as really generating the book because of the data privacy settings of Facebook. So we um, now offer the voucher function so people can now get a voucher and give it to whomever they want to. Okay. I was just I was just going to ask you that because I know my daughter's on Facebook a lot and I thought she would like the book but I couldn't figure out how to order it for her so that's a great idea. That's how it comes now. <laughs> all right. Well, I appreciate you all taking the time to talk to Nerdboy TV about social memories. I do think it is a terrific product. Uh, keep up the good work. I'm looking forward to seeing what else you add on to it. And uh, thank you very much for your time. Enjoy the rest of the day. <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you. you, Ryan. Thanks for waiting at 4 a.m. <laughs> oh, no problem. I guess I'll drink my coffee now. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, you all. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Bye. All right. So again, that's Social Memories and uh, a terrific app if you want to take those Facebook wall postings and turn it into a cool book. And I really like mine, so um, I highly recommend it. This is Ryan Yee of Nerdboy TV. Do have a wonderful 4th of July weekend and come back real soon. I tell the rhythm of the boogie to be. I dare go like simple and plain as primal and basic.